the polarity. Both the strip light and the connector have polarity, which is marked with a plus and minus on the strip next to the contacts and on the connector. All you do is line up the plus with plus and minus with minus. If you are using Coronis or Valance strip, it's essential to check the polarity before cutting so that you leave the two pairs of contacts on the proper end. Line up the plus with plus and minus with minus. We'll see how to cut in the next step. Before connecting the strip, cut it to the length you need with some scissors. Never cut a strip light when connected to a power supply. Strip that is high density, like Coronis or Valant, is cut so the end closest to the clicktite has two pairs of contacts. Because of the chip density, it's necessary to have both pairs of contacts so the connector can close easily. This way, the chip closest to the connector won't keep it from closing. Strip that has a standard density of chips, like Aura and Avenue 24, should be cut between pairs of contacts at the scissors icon. Trim the strip as close as possible to the contacts to ensure a proper connection. If you're using a strip-to-strip -strip connector or bending extension, be sure to line up the plus and minus of both sections of strip and the connector all on a line. Connectors come in two sizes depending on the strip you have. Be sure that your connector fits the strip snugly. The wrong size connector will either not fit the strip or it will result in a loose connection that can damage the strip or connector. This next step is very important. Click tights have two metal tabs and the strip contacts fit under them. The connectors also have grooves to guide the strip. Just slide the strip in facing up with the adhesive backing still on the strip. Close the clip. You'll feel a snap when it's secure. Here's a great tip. Always test the connections before permanent installation. Please note that it's possible for the connector to come loose from the strip after installation due to handling or gravity. We recommend using a wire harness or cable staple to keep the connector from moving. Peel away the backing after connecting the strip. The small piece of backing helps it stay snug in the connector. Congratulations, you're done! It's that simple.